Hey writers, and welcome to our third writing prompt of 2021. So far this year, I feel like we've been on this recurring theme of change, of experimentation, of trying new things and pushing our boundaries a bit. And I want to continue that this week by focusing on one thing specifically, and that is form. I feel like historically you've seen fiction as being written a certain sort of way, in that you have, you know, paragraph after paragraph, and then, you know, little bits of dialogue, and then you split those up over chapters, because you have your beginning action, rising action, climax, falling action, conclusion, and then there you go. There you have your story, right? But I feel like writers these days are trying new things with form and trying new approaches in that you know, they're not always bound by that sort of paragraph, chapter style. You're seeing classical works like, you know, Romeo and Juliet be entirely reimagined as a text conversation. You're seeing authors like Jason Reynolds, for example, write out an entire narrative, but in much more of a poetic way, basically in a poem, in and of itself. And even beyond that, you're seeing writers of all types use visual aspects in their stories, like, you know, whether it be just photos or, you know, diagrams, graphs, something that the character may be seeing, anything like that, anything to sort of enhance their narrative, right? I feel like there's still a little bit of debate between, you know, what is real fiction and what is more experimental fiction. And in my opinion, I don't really think it matters these days. I think that as long as you're telling your story in the way that you want to tell it, in the most effective way that it can be told, then that's completely valid in and of itself. I don't think you need to sort of be bound by the structures of, you know, what's traditional to succeed in that. And so this week, what I want to do is I want to focus on that specifically, breaking the form. And I want you to do this by trying to write something in a way that maybe you haven't before. You can choose however you want to break the form, and you can choose in what way you want to do it. Whether it be, you know, you're writing out more of a poetic narrative like Jason Reynolds, whether you reimagine something that you've written or just write something new altogether in a sort of text conversation or an email conversation or anything like that, or even something more subtle, like just adding more of a visual element to your story, like photographs and whatnot. I mean, you see graphic novels doing that all the time, right? And those are also equally valuable fiction stories. But what I want you to focus on this time around is just breaking that traditional fiction form in any way you see fit and seeing how it affects your writing, see how it affects your storytelling. Does it improve it for the better? Does it hinder it a little bit? Do you almost prefer that traditional style? If you do, that's completely fine. I think that the sort of importance of this is to show that you can write in a variety of different ways and still have it be just as effective if, you know, that's the way that you want the story to be told. So, with that, that's our writing prompt for this week. Pretty simple, but I want you to have fun with this one because, you know, I want you to, again, in the interest of experimentation, I want you to try something new. I want you to try something you haven't tried before and to write something that you haven't written before and see, you know, where it takes you, see where that journey takes you. So with that, I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well, and I'll see you in the next one. Have fun writing.